Hi, do I friends? Chris is another match video. I got Megan here, and today I'm going to review another movie we watched this week. And this movie, it's a sequel because I don't own the second one. I do have the first one, but I'm not going to watch the second one until I get it. But that movie is Return of the Living Dead 3. Um, I got this movie. Where did I get this? I think I had this replay or half price books, but this is Return of the Living Dead 3. We watched it a couple of nights ago. And we liked it. It was a good movie. Um, she was pretty cool. Very scary. So, the movie is basically about a couple who... The girl is in Julie, who is this right here, but she's human. She turns... She, she starts as just a normal human being, human being. She's not this yet. And... <coughs> she's a bit of a rebel. In the first time you see her, she's burning her fucking hand with the lighter. And... She... <clears throat> her and the main guy... I forget the main guy's name. Um... I forget his name, but... Him... And his girlfriend, Julie, and... Are they? They're having sex, and his 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 dad walks in and tells him that they are going to move to another state. And the the main character is in Tatisville, and him and his girlfriend Julie just drive off to the as on his motorcycle, and they get into a, into a wreck, and Julie gets killed by hitting her head on the telephone pole, and then they. He brings you back from the dead with zombie gas, which brings these zombies alive. And she comes alive because he's hungry for stuff. I mean, she, he takes her to the fucking grocery store and she starts eating a bunch of Twinkies and shit. Then she starts buying people and then she starts eating people and... These people turn to zombies and chaos ensues from there. Now, like I said, I... I like this movie a lot. I thought she was really good. The acting by her and the makeup was fucking amazing in this movie. I mean, you get a con zombie. There's a zombie with the yellow skin. And he bites the guy's fingers off. He becomes a zombie. He gets his head bashed in. He becomes a zombie. Um, The girl and then the <clears throat> the main guy. You definitely feel sorry for them. Um, so his girlfriend Julie starts killing and eating people, but in order to not be hungry and not hurt anybody, she has to self-harm, which, this movie's dark as hell, man. This movie's dark. There's one scene where she jumps off a fucking, um, cliff into a lake and she tries to kill herself. Definitely not a kid's movie. <laughs> Um, because there's one scene where a guy has like a missing child with a sick as Julie eats his fucking brains. He comes alive and he looks terrifying. There's one zombie who's like, it looks like silly play. The effect doesn't look that good, but when his face like fucking splits apart and there's like a skull inside, that was cool. And of course, you got the terrifying transformation of Julie where she puts it in her hands through her hand through her palm or th through her arm and out her palm she's putting springs like in her in her forearm she's fucking putting nipples in her on her tits she's putting all sorts of shit on her and when you see her she looks horrifying and then she starts killing all these Mexican guys who try and we got bit and they're turning their revenge. She takes one gun and rips his fucking head off and his 
fun is attached with Rodney he starts trying to kill people. Um, one zombie has like her fucking face melted off. Um, there is God. What other zombies are there? There's so much stuff that goes on in this movie. And it's fucking awesome. So, Julie gets captured. Not on screen, but they take all her piercings off and stuff, and there's like holes in her face. Um, there's one homeless guy who tried to help them, but you ended up eating him. And he gets turned to like a zombie, and he looks creepy too. And then him and Julie escape from the. from being captured. And his dad shows up, and he's like, Come here, son. Fuck your girlfriend. She's dead. Come with me. And he just turns on the fucking fire, and this place burns down with him and Julie together. That's how the movie ends. Um, good movie. She was hot, and, well, not hot. She was hot before she became this. Um, she was terrifying. She was creepy. There was definitely a gory zombie film. And I do know that there is an unrated version of this movie out there, which, oh my god. This movie's gory, and God knows what got cut out. But yeah. Good movie. I enjoyed it. I liked the first one a bit better, but this one was still great. I recommend it. If you like zombie movies, if you like love stories with a creepy twist, Check this movie out. It's really fucking good. I totally recommend it. And I want a Funko Pop of her. <laughs> in my collection. <clears throat> the main guy I thought was well done. I mean, him and Julie were kind of... She was kind of whiny at some times, but... Um... She was so likable. <clears throat> and... Do not watch the other two after this. The other two Return Live Dead movies... They're awful. They suck. Just watch the, fir the first three are all you need. Do not watch the other sequels. They suck ass. But yeah. Watch this movie if you're a fan of zombie films. If you don't like self-harm or some stuff like that, this movie might freak you out because she does a lot of shit to herself that is kind of creepy. But it is a good movie. Good gore. Decent characters. Some nudity, if you guys want, if you guys care about that. And yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen Return of the Living Dead Part 3. I'll try to review the other two once I find a second one on DVD. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace out. I apologize for not uploading, video, uploading any videos today except for that cotton candy one. We were out all day, had a doctor's appointment. But. Uh, by the way, I, I said I was going to a doctor's appointment yesterday. I'm fine. Megan was there to help me. And it went well. I'm fine. They not that surgery or anything. But we went to the mall too with that kind of, like I got that kind of candy and I found a Wednesday plush. I do have another one, but this one is bigger. And she looks more like in the show. She was 10 bucks. So yeah, another character, another front ad to Megan's family. I also got my, I also stay tuned for my unboxing of Chauncey the Bear from Imaginary coming to you soon between the 30th of this month and the 5th of the, the next month. So keep the eyes peeled for that. Thanks for watching you guys, take care. Again, let me know what you guys thought of Return Level Dead 3 in the comments below. Thanks for watching you guys, take care, peace out, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.